manipulation that you can create with fur is really extraordinary. I mean, the, not only the techniques, but the different ways of using it. I mean, between not having grain lines and shearing and, you know, interchanging it with different materials, it becomes an incredibly dynamic material that, you know, can, you know, run the gamut of, of usages and colors and treatments. I mean, a decade ago, it felt like fur was dead and gone for good, and now, it, you know, it's everywhere. And um, designers are using it in, you know, inexpensive and very high-end pieces, and it's, it's, it's permeated the market on a profound level, I think. Today's fur customer really, um, in my opinion, is anyone who has a relationship to fashion and, and design. I mean, it's, it's, it's everywhere and it can be worn with almost anything. I think that there is a differentiation in terms of how fur by designers is being used and therefore how it's being incorporated into women's wardrobes, from accessories all the way through to dress and manipulation. Uh, fur, I think, is one of the key, key trends as it's been for a while. Um, I think uh, large foxes and collars and treatments of oversized, sort of more uh, substantial treatments of fur, I think, are very eminent and present in, in, in what's going on today. Big collars, big hoods, um, cuffs, treatments like that, and again, very fine, sheared skins that are really treated in a very unusual and interesting way, whether they're stitched or dyed or tipped. You know, decades ago, there wasn't the technology that there is today in terms of what you can do with fur. And it, the possibilities are really endless, and I think designers, including myself, have really taken that and tried to push the envelope, and that's why I think it's become so popular because it's so interesting. Today, fur can be worn from day to evening to black tie to, you know, daytime, everyday wear. The way that fur is being used is really everywhere. I like working with fur because I can do so many things to it and use it in so many different ways. And I think in today's world and the way that I work, um, fur has its place in almost any, every classification of garment. And for me, that's a fascinating thing to, to be able to work with. I love it. I'm proud to be working with fur because I love it.